probably winning the final. That feeling where you don't know where to go. Basically that craziness where you think oh, I've done a real good job over a period of time and then something where it's, you can say it's finished. You have done all the work, put all the hard work in and then you've got your reward. Everyone is going crazy and you know you're going to lift something. That is the feeling and the emotion I will never forget. The worst feeling is when you know you got a serious injury and uh, it feels very painful and you know you're going to be sidelined for a while. That is the worst feeling. A couple of times where I really felt, oh, I've done something really bad here and I'm going to be out of the game, which the game that I love. So that is painful. That feeling when sometimes, you know, you, you're going to lose, you know, it in the last five minutes or additional time when you feel like um, almost you cannot do something about it. But sometimes when you are losing 5-0 and you enter in the last five or ten minutes when you realize and know that you're going to lose today, that is a feeling that is not great. When I scored home to, to Tottenham, my first ever Arsenal goal, for example, I felt unstoppable that moment because it was just a feeling we can no one can stop us, no one can stop me from scoring, no one can stop me from, from winning this game. It is one of those feelings when you have, when you're pretty emotional and when you have all the confidence in the world. FA Cup, extra time in semi-final. Uh, one of those games when you go extra time, when you go to penalties, those games really wear you down and where you feel like um, almost you cannot continue, but your emotions, your adrenaline, the fans just keep you going. Laura and myself, we had a run, I think, in 2014, 15, that season, where we felt like we are unstoppable. You know, we complement each other so well. One of these moments when you feel comfortable about everything, about your partner, about your movement, about how you work and how you play together. I think that, is, um, that was that feeling in that time where we felt uh, we can beat everyone and no one can really stop us from defending. Ooh, last year when I was injured and sidelined for six months and then you come back to the pitch and and you struggle a lot by not being picked. You just train along the team and obviously the manager has, has found his team his, and the rhythm and we were quite successful then in the back three. So you're just waiting and that was training. I was mentally not, not quite there. And I admitted it, especially to the manager and said, I need, I need holidays. It was mentally very, very tough and to overcome that I had I was very lucky to have my teammates, my family and friends and the manager who ultimately trusted me. When I turned 17, I would say, when I had the first time the feeling, oh, actually I'm, I'm one of those late developers and all of a sudden I'm just stronger than others, even better in football. And uh, that was the first time I had the feeling oh I have maybe I have a chance if I keep going I have a chance in football because all those talents two years ago were untouchable for me and all of a sudden I felt I can keep up and I'm I'm better and I'm moving better and I'm not that slow everyone told me I am I'm not that immobile everyone told me I am so uh, I think probably when I was 17 18 and all of a sudden you um, you feel you can you can make it So I was in professional football then, signed my first contract and then you are kind of in a rhythm. It's, it's, it's a kind of feeling where you go from highlight to highlight, from game to game, national team uh, games to national team games, uh, World Cups, European Cups. I was on a roll. I was... and not being stopped. 
but that was more the feeling even when you when you broke up for holiday or having a week off you just I was on the roll I was I, no one could stop me and get me away from from playing the game when the club offered me <laughs> a, a, a that there is a job at the club and they wanted me to do something else than being, being on the pitch. That was probably the first time I had to think of it. Is it the time to stop or do I want to have a, another journey, another chapter in football playing wise? But that was the first time I actually thought about what's next for me and what fulfills my, my dreams and my, my next chapter and my what was my next challenge really and that was not on the pitch so that was the first time I actually thought of doing something else. To subscribe or not to subscribe? Subscribe. <laughs>